Strike will come through. Veil will pick that one, and they're looking for more blood. The shard block is not going to quite be there, and that's the first chrono of the game. And then look at the addition onto Arteezy, and they certainly have the damage. That dilation proving to be a bit of a headache right now for Fear. He's not going to be able to make it away, but looks to retreat south. A Night Stalker might do, or a Third Spirit might do, but doing that on a shakeout. Uh oh, press. Here comes Levin. They were able to snipe down Kaka, but look at the response coming up from Ehome. Good setup with the chrono. They're going to be able to quickly take down the Vengeful Spirit. They're going to have this Venge Tusk duo go out as like Bash Brothers all CG, but we'll have to see. See if it's going to be on more execution already. Hey. Looks like they got a hold of Fear. He's forced to snowball and closer. Goes for the committed wall response, but now will be caught up with the coconut slowly. Right click down while the time dilation there withers away. Meanwhile, though, they get a grab on the universal. Thicken pelts him down. And now as they move forward, they're looking for more, which could be a quick to game ending fight. As Arteezy is going to quickly knock the part. He goes down. Triple kill suddenly for Old Chicken. And the last survivor being PPD. Soon to go down as he quickly gets hustled around the Eskers. They can't leave their base. Eat them. As Fear now shows up. He's looking to get a hold of Lanham here. Gets the kick off. Does the stuff. It needs to be CSing while he's not getting it. Oh, look smack. at this though. Surprise attack coming up from Universe with the assistance of Fear already. PPD is going to be able to intercept. I think it's the... They really need to group up next night time because Lane. that's when... Well, let me be quick on the trigger here. That replicate. Oh, looks like he got a hold of the replicate. This fight could go. Oh, no. That means they're going to get the follow up here. 11 going to be eating. Oh, my God. So much damage to e blade. The Laguna goes no through. Arteezy now godlike. Old Chicken next to fall here. And it's kind of not every day you say that about a team that's up the full lane of racks, but. Before 15 minutes. Too. Yeah. 13 minute racks. They GG out. This is going to be like the, the first GG's in the history of Dota when you're for racks and you GG out. <laughs> How are we feeling? Oh, as uh, bottom lane, Sumail showing off that fancy little blink. Going to get in with the avalanche toss combo, but she's still alive. And what a setup coming in. Desperately want to make sure they can at least contest this Roche. Otherwise, they're going to be handing over a damn near freebie to e -Hope, And they're going to be using the back end of the exorcism to put it to work. Here comes Sumail, they're jumping in, they put off the combo with a big static storm and set up from Lanham, dominating for him. They have taken down three from EG already, make it four with the drop of Arteezy, Fear set to go down, Lanham gets... Rax is now exposed, e from the verge of keeping it to the base, and here comes the big hurrah for EG though, big vacuum ball set right into the heart of e -Hope. It's gonna be all it takes though. Looks like quickly e are gonna put with their owner so they dish out the magnetize. And quickly, Old Chicken just begins to sweep on through. He's going to get the grab on for Fear. Ravage now comes out from 11. And it is just into the heart of EG. Arteezy, who is deep into the fray, will quickly go down. And uh, that will be it for Evil Geniuses. Bit. Even if it's going near the root, he's gonna see the message now. He's like, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, oh, he's surrounded. He, he's calm. He wants to move to him. Yeah, he has the reincarnation, but go. Yeah. Right now, they're gonna hit the end. I don't get arguably able to get it, but I'll let him be the next one. Right already burning. Go in. Dad War gonna be dropped. Now they have the stun to stop Kaka from doing it. So they're going to have a burning lot. Hey, over Kaka! We're bringing Kaka! Oh, big damage! Grab the Hadron, he's like, no! Another friend! Get bumped! And Fear says, something about their charge catching on the F5 is very good! Oh, he's there! He's out, man! Oh, man! We lost the f***ing first thing! Oh, left in the back line! He can't, they can't even get the Hadron! This is an absolute disaster for Jeez. BDK! It's gonna be over another free point! Tap out of here! Oh, God! He holds it! They're in home more advantage, they're feeling pretty damn I'm trying to just Well, maybe it's game for Eho though. Crushing! Black from the here. <laughs> well! That was sight to see. That was it. Now. Can he get the tornado? Yes, he can. 
And move forward. Why catches up to him? Takes him out at 11. Maybe push the spot. Oh, four. He's running and making it back. Good. Death Black is going to get it. up and Kevin and Bert is burnt out. Doubled up. CTY who's now dominating on the start. Look at fucking man. The first attack on the... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, they need to make sure they save the bit. Oh, this part is... Oh, oh. 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 So did not save the bit, though. Sitting right to on the oh. melee set while CDY goes for the back. Here, Crickety run. Thank God, coming out. It's really awkward and embarrassing. Oh. Jutty Viz does kick her back. Instead, just goes forward to the boulder smash. And look at this double TP's coming out, but they're going to be too late. Well, CTY can make the spin and... On cue, Nightfall, but Moon, quick on the trigger. Oh! oh Lanham with the setup. Lanham making his appearance. Commits the Void, crit. Last gonna be their big damage, but there's Hold the right roll. Uh, oh! Insane. Yeah. Which is crap by preventing, I think, that little bit of, what, 50 damage? Now Kaka. Gonna get step back. He also gets it. The Ward is gonna be down. If he gets to go to hefty work here across the team of OG, Fly's gonna be forced to buy back here. Moon, right in the mix, quickly goes down. There's the Omni Slash coming out from CTY. Attention there. 11. Pops the Lincoln, fuels up the Evoker. Goes for the Tornado. Wow, he actually gets the catch here. Look at go. EMP gonna be dropped. Follow from Moon. And he gets the Night Stalker down. He's out over a minute. No buyback. And they might get 11. He's out too. For an unexpected play. It worked out for them before. And they might be able to get it again here. He hold. Might be just caught with their pants down. They're making their move for old chicken. And he's going to get the Yules off. But as he comes back down, it looks like they may be able to get him. They will. Ward's on the high ground. Looking to do some work as CTY looks to Mando here from Miracle. But a quick false promise will get him away. Burned from danger. Oh, for the crew. Oh, completely negated on these slash from CTY is heartbreaking for E Home right now. And they're quickly on the retreat, making it back into the base, but it looks like OG might have been able to stay alive and potentially move this into a game three here as it's potentially the game. Yeah, talked about the death prophets. Set up here. is gonna have to come in for it. He, he's running right at him. Watching over his shoulder now. They look to make the move. They lead him with the impale, follow up, folder smack, and the roll. Now comes old chicken and the orb walk. So we see him now. They're gonna Ooh. Oh, they got him. Kick him with the rolling boulder, the fall up impale, plus the stacked boulder smash here. And Eric Hope, he's so used to being that support that just sat like a 20 minute E blade. This is the of that now. Moon moves in, nice. does get the chrono. It's on to two, but where's the damage call? They'll put the call down on top of him by then. The chrono has concluded, and old chicken looking to go mode right here, oh, even accepting his potential fate form. But they are going to be bringing down the meatball, and already going to be forced to pull out the buff back at this point. Eho already knocking at the front door of OGD as they get the elder takedown, getting to the grab on the gyro. Oh, holds the shrieks! They got the die back to meatball this game! Rep looking it back in. CTY, what a player. Definition of a hit and run here, and now Moon dishing out the chrono does catch three. Beautiful invoker combo does come out here from Miracle, but is it going to be enough? It doesn't look like it. Miracle quickly goes down, and the flag. Mel often wants him. He, yeah. he so rarely gets them. Teams just normally refuse to give him that kind of a matchup. Oh, look at the man up on the tree right here. Oh, follow up stun does come out from the but then the counter attack is going to be the crush coming out of the universe. But another overpower. Look at go from here. Can you get to catch him a little bit? Dr. Can with the snowball. And they'll pull the grab the fear kill. In the old if he doesn't want to. Although, just for the sake of ease, well, the Mask of Madness. All that hefty burst on the side of Eho. Yeah, the Laguna on your finger. Mid lane, we got a snowball in from Kaka. Looking to go for Sunil, but he's quick on the finger with a ghost, but it doesn't matter. They got the vision, they dropped the Laguna. They're going to get the response from fear with the teleporter, but old chicken. Is able to just look to the high ground and it just walked right into a trap set by Lamb. Oh, nice gap closing jump comes out from Universe. Land of those still lives on, is able to get off the stun, turns the corner, avoids the meteor here, and he's trying to step away from third damage. And suddenly comes CTY right now. Oh, Deputy Blast, good catch him now. Finishing off Lanham right now, but seems like just to go to work and wanting to take that too. Looking to go for the universe, living armor helps him for a bit, but now that the future <laughs> the is what? slow down a century, CTY <laughs> slaughtering the parts, go through these charges like it's nothing. Um, like the old school for us, it was almost always going for something like a fast ice of the ice or getting a abyssal, but coming with more options these days. Oh my goodness, that 80 pillar left finger. I think already it's been a successful ace life with that, but. 
Oh, they're looking to fight, man. They move into the two male. It's going to be enough. Ursus Rin looking to turn this one if they chase really far. Repositioning. Out. Tornado's going to be off the mark. Now they're going to get the heals here for you. They're to able to pop the set from the damage right now. It's a bit of This is jumping in with the crush here. The bear continuing to shove them all back. Ghost Scepter's going to be forced out and they get the heal set up for Arteezy. Arteezy's out. Nearly 80 seconds. Doesn't have a fight back, but it's not going to matter. EG off the game. Not much else to add on top of it quite yet, but here comes that coil. Can they go? Swap back, silent. Right clicks are coming now. They got the orb. Is the cold snap now retreats down south right now to make it back in a way. I said he had a coil, but he actually doesn't, obviously, using it on Lana before. With what they had, it's not going to be enough. Far with time off. He looks to retreat, but so much damage flies through. PVD ends up securing a double kill with himself with the assistance from Arteezy. They got the dust. Nice! Swap back comes in for Peter, and now the follow-up kill is going to be... Oh, time lapsed! CTY! Dashes for the side shot, but he has no quick TP. Are they going to be able to spot him out here? No, they will not. CTY. Very Damn much it. a team where you've got just really the one veteran in, in Lanham. Other than that, it's it's kind of four guys new to the top level of Dota 2. The group stage, I believe, they had a really bad group stage. And Lanham was saying how there was some internal complications. But now bouncing back, it's only in the grand final and potentially going to take a good fight here against EG. They get the pullback for University. Eth is going to be able to kind of keep away from any sort of additional physical damage. Huge burst here on the Kaka, but he's much cool to get the extra sustain while Universe isolates, gets the catch. Him and Arteezy will be able to take down Old Chick in this fight. Split down the middle. You take that, we'll take this. And now it's Arteezy versus CTY. Man it up on each other. Both cores going in it right now. Arteezy changes targets and gets the kill on the Lanham. He's got a triple. He's going to pull up a bit because of the nature of just having the one carry and morphling in. So that other... Yep. EG on the offense, they smoke and they're looking to catch out Eho here. Oh, they cross map and land him. That's not the first uh, one yeah. to walk into the next. He, they changed from him and they took over the better target to CTY. Now he knew they were coming in. He will actually he burst it down, out for 80 seconds, no buyback, and it turns to a hot scramble of a mess right now. Oil going to be dropped right in the middle of the mix of Eho. They're going to be forced to go toe to toe without their mighty Weaver, but they actually might still look at Arteezy with the power of the load and alone. State coming out here from Lennon's going to be able to keep alive. Arteezy does avoid trouble and steps away. PPD, the martyr, holds his own ground. Will be the sacrificial lamp, but they're still going to be able to catch it. Looks like he can fear. Hold up. Oh, they're going to be going down. That's a gem on the deck. And they're going to be able to get Arteezy. Looks like it could quickly be a five man wipe and the game. And off for the being in the lane. So oh, he's going untouchable level one. That's not. Yeah, this is very. Insane. This is their take, I guess, on the off lane enchantress. Oh, Kaka appears with the button. Oh, he would not. My that. No Orb of Venom is the good news, uh, but it's a, he's just strapped dead. Been? Okay, well, no Orb of Venom roll. necessary. He's got a little twist and playing it very differently to what we would see. <laughs> CT really good awesome right now, but... He's I'm splashy! Oh my god, he really had a nice TDP position, won't be scouted. Oh, and if Kaka's nearby, he can't kick stun. Nice little oh. side, but he's actually going to be on mail. Oh, chicken's still good, they're... Sumail and they get it with the help of the finger. Magnetize was also committed, so that will be a miss, but that was a good matter. That was incredibly great save. Gonna get coming out from Kaka. PPD can be forced to dish out the grave, but he's gonna be as well walk back. They'll leave him on the side as a sweet little treat as they make their move for universe. They get out kill and PPD. Ooh, Chrono pseudo set up from the Arteezy scouting right. They're gonna get one, they could get two, they do! And the most he caught at 11, making it into the base if possible, but he does get caught up with the Yules, it looks like. Sidesteps, Impetus is being traded, Adaptive to strike from CTY, but he's going to be put to sleep as they make room. quite enough damage coming out. Pipes will come back, Tier 3 goes down, and suddenly EG are making their move in for the racks, and now CTY back in action, and the Crow is going to be cast across the whole, or the whole game. <laughs> As they are in permanent time lock. There's the photo. There it goes. It's over. And, well, I don't know what the hell's happening right now. They make the move for Arteezy. He gets the grave up. It looks like Viper will be going down. They get the grab on the Lanham right now. Arteezy unstoppable as he's moving on in. And look at that. 11. Going to be slept up. They come in place. Now they're looking to get out the damage. Do they have the burst of the Enchantress? It doesn't look like it. Kaka going to be forced to buy back here. And now they put their sights for Universe. Another grave coming out for PPD. Man, he keeps keeping them alive right now. Respawn. Uh oh, here comes Universe. Gets a nice catch on the three, but quick enchant remnant will save 11. And, uh, well, actually not. They're going to get the quick kill onto both right now. 
Kaka has to retreat. Old Chicken not going to be so fortunate here. Look at this. EG able to get a quick stall out. CT Bell will try to slow down the next wave before it gets in there, but EG are using the wave currently in the base to kind of go to the high ground. There's another Chrono. This one's going to be on to two. Land on a swing and a miss. Nice sidestep there, and they're going to be able to burst down. Kaka, he's out. No buyback for him. Also 11 down. They look for Old Chicken. They're going to get that on two. Kaka just gets the money for the buyback, and now Old Chicken will buy back as well, but they are only going to work on these racks. Are they going to have enough firepower, though, to take it down? Fiend's Grip comes out onto Old Chicken, but there's going to be the pullbacks from Kaka. Now it can't catch it. Three! Oh, but he gets put to sleep from Fear. can't move in with the Magnetize, and they put their focus on the CTY, but this Warfling is... My God, is he Teddy? He's going to be walking away from the troll, but still oh, moving. Kaka! Oh, oh he's he blowing the universe! Whoa! Kaka goes down to die back from him, and CTY... It is going to be oh, not contesting for him. It's on same time, it's easy. You're going to a gem. He is going towards possible trolling. Viper's actually mince meat. They scout only him, while the other two are already in the pit. And Viper just dies if they go on him, but they, I don't think they quite realize Viper's alone. There's an Earth Spirit who can pull him out. Okay, there we go. Oh, kill on the Viper. Blink and you miss it. Aegis is going to be acquired. This one goes to Old Chick and Cheese is down. Looks like Lana might have to find room for it. I mean, Ortiz just finally recognized yeah. they're in the pit. Oh, go real quick. Got make it away from trouble. I mean, that could have been. Oh, oh! What a silent call. And they get the magnetize and get He's out. Dead, wow. though. Oh, my goodness. The damage is there. And it's Sumail for the city. Takes down 11. Seat wide. A lot of trouble. Look at the man up a bit. He gets to the tentacle and goes right for Sumail. They get Link Ortiz is down. The rapier is down. And so could EG. Oh, oh! Universe picks it up at least, but it all in for the throw. EG, no buybacks, no answer. CTY, the void coming back won't even do anything here. Get up, Universe! See if you can hold it. No, he's down and out, and they have done it. E have just swept Evil Genius. Is three zero in front of the hometown crowd. They take first place and a hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars. E home, what?